the apparatus consists of a sample holder with a thermometer and a tube to provide an air gap it is placed in an insulated container to begin with first we have to prepare a freezing mixture now in this freezing mixture we'll be taking ice and common salt that is nacl as we want the lowest temperature we need to freeze the mixture or the sample that we have taken so first we crush the ice place the crushed ice at the bottom of the container the insulated container then we put a layer of salt in between the common salt is evenly spread throughout the ice to provide better cooling effect then we put one more layer of ice on top of it generally the freezing mixture of common salt and ice gives a temperature as low as minus 10 degree celsius you can also use other types of salts like calcium chloride which will give you much lower temperature for example with calcium chloride it gives up to minus 26 degree celsius So here we are putting one more layer of salt on it. Then we fix the lid on top and make the chamber air tight so that there is no heat loss. Next we note down the initial temperature of all the samples. These thermometers are special thermometers. They start from 20 degrees Celsius. After every one degree drop in temperature, we take out the test tube and then observe it for the cloud point. At this moment, the samples do not show any cloud or haze formation. so we put it back again in the freezing mixture to allow the temperature to fall further again we check it for the cloud or the haze no still it is not appearing let us check for this sample Yes. On shaking the sample, do you see the cloud and the haze inside the tube? So this cloud or haze which is seen, this temperature is taken as your cloud point. So we note down the temperature on the thermometer. This temperature comes out to around 10 degrees Celsius. Yes. So the cloud point for this sample is 10 degrees Celsius. we allow the cooling further and now for every 3 degree drop in temperature we lift the test tube and find out if it is frozen if the sample gets frozen so we go on checking the second sample we are checking the cloud or the haze formation now for the first sample still it is in the liquid form no the temperature is now around 2 degree celsius you hmm. still dropping maybe around 0 degree celsius so now if we tilt this thing and keep it for 5 seconds the sample does not move or does not flow we keep it longer then slight flow is observed so this temperature we note down as the solid point
yes it is not flowing so the temperature is noted down as the solid point and as per the ASTM standards 3 degrees added to the solid point gives you the pore point so accordingly we perform the procedure for all the samples yes you can observe it is slightly moving now we have kept it for longer time so we read the temperatures on the thermometers and note them down as the solid points and the pore points.